Shalom, shalom, YouTube and Facebook. I hope all of you are doing wonderful. I'm Princess Nansa here with your today's news brief. But before I get into our first story, I would like to take this time to thank all of those who donated, um, especially during these very uncertain times. I thank you from my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I would like to start off by informing you about NASA's announcement. Yesterday, NASA announced evidence of possible flowing water during the warmest months of Mars. These findings were published in yesterday's edition of Journal Science and were based on observations from NASA's Mars Orbiter. For those of you who keep up with NASA's announcements, you know that this is huge, especially in the light of Comet Elenin, or Comet Melanin, as I like to call it, which is our next story. For more information on this story and more, please visit NASA's website at nasa.gov. Now, speaking of Comet Elenin, or Comet Melanin, according to spaceobs.org, the comet has grown. The diameter of the outer coma exceeds 200,000 kilometers. It is important to note that Jupiter's diameter is 143,000 kilometers, so this thing is huge. More information can be found on Google and or YouTube. Now for the job report, and some of it is not pretty. The Economic Policy Institute estimates that spending cuts will cost the economy over 300,000 jobs in 2012. It also estimates that allowing the payroll tax holiday and extended unemployment benefits to expire could cost an additional 1.5 million jobs. And get this, most people laid off today will not be able to collect federal unemployment benefits after their state benefits run out. And those collecting federal benefits could find themselves cut off before receiving the full number of weeks they are eligible for. And this just came in today. Apparently, 117,000 jobs were added in the month of July in private sectors. And in other news, Senator Ron Wyden demands to know how many Americans are under surveillance under the Patriot Act. Senator, I would like to know too. <laughs> All right, and you know I've saved the best for last. Oh, the stocks. Yesterday on Barack Obama's birthday, happy belated, it was the worst day since the financial crisis of 2008. The Dow Jones plummeted, losing 515 points as fears about the global economy shook investors. Peter Schiff, president of Euro Pacific Capital, says now what people are realizing is that the stimulus didn't work and we might be headed back to a recession. That's if we ever left one. The volatility index closed at its highest of $31 since the flash crash of 2010. The eviction measures the fears in the market, which can prompt investors to sell all assets. All three major indexes tumbled more than 4% yesterday or Thursday and eradicated all their gains for the year. The indexes have also pushed into correction territory, defined as 10% fall from recent highs. The Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P have fallen 10% in the last 10 trading days. The S&P was down a whopping 60 points, or 4.8%. The NASDAQ lost 130 points, or 5.1%. Now for commodities. Oil prices dropped 5.3% to $86.63 a barrel. Gold is down from its highs of $16.85, and silver is down $3 from $42 an ounce. And let me just say this. If you have money invested in mutual funds in your 401k account, you may want to liquidate them and sit on the sidelines in the money markets. This until fears in the market subsides. That's all the news I have for now. Thank you all for watching. And as always, peace, love, and universal life. Shalom.